Bread, freedom, these islands are Egyptian, protesters chant. Thousands gathered in Cairo and the nearby city of Giza, the first significant wave of protests since former army chief al-Sisi became president in 2014. Ostensibly, they're angry over al-Sisi's decision to hand over two Red Sea islands to Saudi Arabia. The Egyptian government maintains Tehran and Sanafir belong to the Saudis, who asked Egypt to protect them from Israel in 1950. But the protesters aren't buying it. I'm here today because they wavered Tehran and Sanafir without anything in return. It's our right and our property. We've read in history that since the French campaign in Egypt, these two islands have been under Egyptian sovereignty. The two islands are Egyptian territory, and if Saudi Arabia had a right in them, it should have gone to the international court with its documents. Why did al-Sisi hand it over in secrecy? We're objecting to it. But it's clear this is not all about the islands. Leave, 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 they call. The protests are a sure sign that the president's popularity is waning. Revolution, they shout, but it's a dangerous cry. Unauthorized demonstrations are illegal. Already there have been reports of security forces using tear gas and detaining dozens of protesters. Down with the regime, they chant, echoing the cries of the 2011 Arab Spring. But El Sisi is not likely to back down on the islands or his presidency.